Cleanup efforts are just beginning and could take months or even longer. Last week, we told you about several organizations here in the Pittsburgh area preparing and helping before the storm hit. Those groups increased their efforts and are going all in to be there for complete strangers in their greatest time of need. Hurricane Helene left a 500 mile path of destruction, but help continues to roll in. The American Red Cross is mobilizing as many volunteers as they can to bring hope to devastated communities across the southeast. We don't even know the full magnitude of the storm. There are still many areas that we can't even reach. Um, so even in the coming days, there's going to be more people that need help. Nicole Rochella says they've deployed 20 volunteers from across the greater Pennsylvania region. Two are from southwestern PA. One is working in shelters down south. Another is working virtually to help with reunification. The Red Cross is providing water, warm meals, and running dozens of emergency shelters. Some volunteers drove down south to reach people who are stuck in heavily damaged areas. And this storm's damage is incredible and tragic, but knowing that people from all over the country, up here in Pennsylvania too, going down south um, to help people in need, to help complete strangers, I think that's really powerful. Brothers Brother Foundation in Pittsburgh has committed $100,000 to six food banks in Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina to be used for relief supplies. And the nonprofit's response keeps growing. The Salvation Army of Western PA has also jumped into action. Heather Martin says they've deployed three disaster relief experts to Georgia. Martin will be heading south soon. We'll be there mostly providing nourishment and um, hydration. We do those by mobile canteen. So we actually go directly into those affected communities and um, help families get back on their feet. She says they've also sent a bunch of pallets of flood kits to hard hit areas. It has bleach in there, it has garbage bags, it has gloves, it has brooms, that kind of stuff to really help them on their way. These organizations are also providing emotional care. Some people are having the worst days of their absolute life. So having people there that um, are actively listening and being at that uh, ear to, you know, to just listen. The Red Cross, Salvation Army, and Brothers Brother Foundation all agree that the quickest way to make a big difference right now is by donating money. There are a number of ways you can make a donation to these local organizations, so we'll put all that information you need on KDKA.com. I do want to mention Brothers Brother Foundation said the Pittsburgh community has been amazing, and they thank everyone for helping out.